Hi guys, welcome back to the Pedagogy TLS. This is Abdul Gafur and you are watching a YouTube channel. Another important topic, uh, the difference between criterion reference test and the norm reference test. So in this video, I'm going to uh, explain the similarities and the differences between these two uh, tests and uh, uh, give you examples about that as well as you know. So before starting the video, uh, if you are looking for the pedagogy uh, online trainings and classes uh, with a reasonable fee structure, my contact detail, WhatsApp and email, you can find out in the description. So let's discuss uh, the topic, uh, the criterion and the norm reference. Now criterion and norm reference, we are also, uh, you know, uh, say that these are the CRT, criterion reference. And the norm reference we call the NRTs. Let's discuss first the similarities. Now, both are assessments. Yes, both are checking the performance. Of course, they are checking the performance. Uh, then what are the differences? Let's discuss first the CRT. Now, CRT, that means based on the criteria, the test based on the criteria. And uh, which are these tests based on the criteria? Uh, just like uh, we measure the performance of students in percentage, we measure this uh, performance of students by giving certification. We measure the students' performance by uh, giving pass and fail. So these are the criteria we are measuring now, what criteria exactly uh, we follow in these tests? For example, you are appearing for the driving lessons uh, test. Now, in this, they will not let you know that uh, how much you uh, are you good in the driving. They will be just evaluating based on the criteria that they have set. Similarly, if you want to get any certification, just like uh, cooking certification, just like any professional development certification, they will not let you that what exactly you are good in this particular. They will just give you the certificate for that. In the schools, we use the criteria test, just like a summative test. We define these criteria uh, based on the performance of the students that they score, secure the score 85%, 90% and all. The major difference between these two uh, uh, assessment tests, the criteria uh, criterion test we uh, measure, uh, we conduct in a small groups and we don't compare these uh, uh, candidates or students uh, themselves in a group. We don't compare. There's no comparison in it. However, the second uh, norm reference test, uh, norm reference test, we conduct in a large group. And uh, we have a comparison. We compare based on their IQ level. And uh, second thing, that which examples are the norm reference tests, just like the exams, university admission exams, and uh, job interviews, selection of the candidates, we use the norm reference. Now, suppose you know, a university has uh, announced the admission for 100 candidates and there are the thousand of the uh, students uh, who appear in the test and the criteria was the pass uh, 60%. Now, university will be applying the norms uh, reference uh, whether uh, there are 200 or 300 they passed, but they will be just selecting the top 100 students among or from all of these even. So this is one of the norm reference. Even in jobs, what we do, we have a few vacancies, just like we have a one vacancy and we invite many applications for that. And we compare these all candidates based on their abilities and equities. It doesn't mean they are uh, not qualified. They are qualified, but based on their IQ level, we will be selecting the top most candidate. Now, this is a, one of the proof that uh, norm reference test is, uh, uh, you know, we are applying the comparative 
uh, analysis among these uh, candidates or the students, how are the criterions we don't have, you know, that the uh, comparisons. So these are the uh, some uh, difference and similarities. Uh, so let me clear one more thing. Uh, one question that our admissions, schools admissions is are based on to the vacancies as well as number of seats. If a school has 100 uh, uh, seats available and uh, 300 students applied for the admission, the school will be selecting the top most 100 students because they are applying the norm reference test. Uh, finally, the summative assessment, is it a criterion test or norm reference test? It's a criterion test. This is based on criteria. We set benchmarks and all these things and we are evaluating performance. We don't compare the rest of the students to each other. Some of them have a confusion that what about the attainment and the progress? Is it the uh, norm reference? No. In attainment and progress, we are checking ach achievement and the trends over the period. But we don't compare, you know, individual students to, according to IQ level. So in norm reference, we are ranking the candidates according to their performance, according to their IQ level. So I hope this will help you a lot to understand what is the difference between criterion reference and norm reference test. We'll be meeting in the next lesson. Till that, stay blessed. Take care.